Today is the first full day of spring and the international day for the elimination of racism. Two things that give me hope for a better future and a better humanity. As someone who advocates almost daily in all the work that I do both professionally and personally in every community I visit and have the opportunity to speak with others and to get to know them, I talk about the importance of our shared humanity. This latest virus pandemic is an opportunity for us to awaken to our global responsibility and to recognize that our lack of trust, respect, love and compassion for one another has led us to reacting in fear, panic and anxiety. You may be wondering, how is this virus related to our need to take stronger leadership as corporate citizens? How can we become better stewards of the earth and how can we develop a strong commitment to fairness, equality and equity, not just in words, but in action? First, we need to recognize that we're in this together and we need to recognize that we're destroying the earth at an unprecedented rate. We need to recognize that we're refusing to acknowledge not only our responsibility to change this behavior, but to address the irreparable damage that we've caused to entire communities and ecosystems through our selfish desire to explore and exploit. Just look at the deforestation of the Amazon, our treatment of indigenous nations, overpopulation, pollution, the burning of fossil fuels and other ch changes that have triggered climate change, soil erosion, poor air quality and undrinkable water, just to name a few. We need to address inequities that kill people and cause diseases that first attack the poor. But as we've seen with COVID-19, this virus doesn't discriminate against race or socioeconomic status. People all over the world will die when outbreaks spread. If we really want to know how to slow down these outbreaks and minimize their impact, we need to learn to respond rather than react so we can better be prepared and better address these outbreaks. We also need to ensure that every country in the world has access to clean running water so people can wash their hands, bathe and, and drink. We also need to ensure that they have access to proper health care and the capacity to identify diseases, to treat them and report them so that we're not working and then later living in isolation. By building trust with other countries, we can improve our abilities to openly communicate and care for our shared humanity. So today, on this first day of spring, let's make an effort to eliminate racism right here at home in our communities and to eliminate xenophobia and all forms of discrimination and fear of the other. And when we can, to extend our arms and embrace one another right here and around the world. We're humbling ourselves before this virus, but let's find instead humility in our shared humanity and work together to build stronger communities healthier economies and cleaner environments so that we can avoid more outbreaks and we can leave a better place for others and for our children. This message can be a harsh one if we don't recognize our own accountability for where we find ourselves today. But please reflect and respond and share it and live it. Happy spring to you. Stay healthy, stay positive and abundant hope. Peace.